G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days where we're back in the new Alpha 21 to try something that is probably a really bad idea. I am standing amongst the wreckage, the crater that used to be my house not so long ago. I am still in the same world I was playing Immersion in but I've now turned the HUD back on so I can see what I'm doing for a change. But I've come back because in Alpha 21 there are these new T6 infestations quest so the infestation quest but in a tier 5 poi which makes it a tier 6 so i was thinking as a good way to kind of see off this world and be done with it once and for all i want to see how high it can go i'm already on insane difficulty and zombies are already sprinting everywhere so what if we did a tier 6 infestation but in the wasteland the worst possible quest you could ever do i actually have no idea what i'm getting myself into with this i do know that like some people have gone out and done the tier 6 infestations already in fact i think Locke was making a video on it, but for me sitting here now, it actually hasn't come out yet. So I haven't seen it. I don't know what I'm walking into, but that just makes it more fun. Coming in blind is the best way to go. I'm going to need my motorcycle out of the wreckage from down here. Quickly grab you. How you looking actually? Yeah. Nah, you're fine. You're fine. What are you even worried about? You barely even took a scrap, despite being a ground zero of a lot of nuclear grenades. Just gonna jump on the bike and head out to get my quest from the trader. Uh, I am rolling a good amount of ammo, some medical supplies and food and whatnot. Uh, I have learned some of my lessons from <laughs> what happened to me at the end of Immersion. So I am going into this a little bit more armed and ready than I would be uh, yesterday, but that's okay. That's all right. I still don't think I have enough ammo and I'm not max level, so I have all the skill points in the world. I still think it's going to be a real big challenge. Here we go, Trader Bob. Good to see you again. It's been a little bit. So I've just gone through. I left the doors open. That's a terrible idea uh, on insane difficulty in the wasteland. Probably not the greatest place to leave your gates wide open. But all I've done is I've gone through and leveled up Trader Bob and completed the tier 5 quest. So now you should be offering me... Tier 6 infestations. Now, most of these should be in the wasteland somewhere. Let's we'll see what's on offer. A Dishong Tower? Mm, maybe not. There's some new tier 5s now. Agashi Pharmaceuticals. Narva's Gang Corrections. What else is there? There's Narva's Gang County the Jail. That's the wrong one. And last but not least, the last the Sunset camera. Nursing Home. Well, I already died in a prison, so I'm not really ready to revisit that nightmare again. That was bad enough just on a regular day. Yeah, all right. Well, if we're going to see out the last of my life, I suppose the last Sunset Nursing Home is a good way to do it. T6 Infestation, where are you going to send me? Show on the map. Up in the Wasteland City. All right, no wackers knackers. I'll probably never see you again, though. Look, I'm sure his heart was in the right place, but it's a little bit late for putting me into palliative care. Uh, my original body, the one that I was living in for a good 30-something days, is scattered into several thousand different pieces, and I'm not sure the staff at the nursing home is willing to give that a bubble bath. This is the place just in front of me. The exclamation mark is out the back, but I'll still park my bike like a normal person. There you go, right between the lines. So I am still rolling the same kind of weapons that I was rolling for Immersion, mostly because that's what I've got the most practice in for Alpha 21 at the moment. I feel most comfortable with the spear, my sniper rifle, but I've upgraded to an M16. Still got a compy crossbow as well. I don't think this is going to save me, but I mean, it's luscious out here. Got a nice little pond that's also seen some better days to hire a new pool cleaner or something. I don't know. This isn't really the weapons that I think are best for this kind of thing for big bulky hordes of zombies, but too late now. There's the marker in the spa. Oh, well, don your togs and get your thongs on. Let's do it. Boop. T6 infestations. What have we got? We've got, we've got five skulls for the T5 POI and then two extra skulls for the wasteland. So it's a T7. A T7 infestation, really. Right, well... Yeah, no, nah, this will be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Just gonna play with me noodle before I go inside. This already looks sketchier than someone trying to bum a dart at the station, so I'm gonna whip on the old NVGs and chuck you guys on instead. Turn off my helmet light and in we go. All right, well, anytime I'm away from oh, the big scary outside with the bears and the dogs and the water balloons, I feel a little bit better about stuff, but I'm not sure being down here is gonna be any safer at all. G'day, g'day. Anyone, anyone hanging out? There's ooh, some more drainage down there. I'm on, 
Oh, jeez. I'm on the lookout for any secret areas there might be. Uh-oh. I heard a dog outside. Is he outside or is he in here with me? Quickly sit you. I don't know. Oh! <laughs> All right, then. I slunk away a couple of feet. No, mate. Lost the plot. That's why stealth is so good. I might actually quickly take off my chlamydia mod. If only you could always cure your big sticker of chlamydia that easy. And I'll grab just... Uh, remember that. You actually I'll grab anything out of you. Mm, yeah, sure. That one. And just whip you into there so you're still clapped down. Just to try and keep my stealth as low as possible. With chlamydia, I'm 70% visible. Without it, I'm only... 20 or so, but... Oh, stick with the spear. The regular zombies, I can still drop in one, which is heckin' bloody good. Got all my spear books already done, which is making things a little bit more viable. All right. Nah, it's still dark as dicks in here. <laughs> still can't take off the NVGs. Stealthing through is working nicely. Put you down with the crossbow. Got any other friendos down here in your own secret little scungy library? We the tools digest in it. Thank you. Always good to be upgrading some more stuff, even though this is the last hurrah in the world. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, it doesn't say open. Oh, I've got to find where it doesn't say open door, so the hitbox should hopefully work. Hitbox did work, but it won't work for long. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, you may be green and glowy like a well shaken glow stick, but. My crossbow is better than you. Bonds are mate. Got to level up. Got a, a two skill points to spend. Not sure what I could spend it on or where I should spend it on. But for the moment, focus on the zombies. I can hear something. Is someone eating that wolf back in the sewer? I reckon they might be. Hang on a second. I can hear it. I've lured zombies into the sewer by accident. Are you down here somewhere? You are too, you bloody cheeky git. No, not for you, but not for me either. Just leave it in peace, would ya? I do actually love that new mechanic that zombies actually go and eat animals now. You could use animals as bait or as lures or whatever you want to do, but definitely... Why do you need a couple of spuds, Josh? Definitely a good addition to the game. You can use it where you need to a lot of the time. Get yourself out of a pickle or two. I've got red dots. Ooh, all the rims still in this room, actually. There's one more. I can hear someone gobbling the dog back there. Again, that's not a euphemism. Easy. Yep. Nice, Gary. Got in there before I woke up. Nice and clean. I can hear... <laughs> Just so many zombie noises. Are Ooh. So many zombie noises around here. And I'm really trying to pay attention to not get... Or not walk past it. I want to get clapped in the back of the noggin. I want the best of paying attention at the best of time. So I don't want to take any chances. I guess that's the way I have to go. I have to go in a moment. <laughs> Did you miss your floor there, champion? Did you accidentally forget to get off the elevators and just yeeted yourself out the doors after the fact? That's fine. Crossbow's got you covered. Take that back again. Good God, that spider is loud. Normally, you can live in peace with a cheeky huntsman or two that's eat all the bugs, but you, you won't have to get squished. Yeah, I can't open any doors. Oh, I can see, though. That went straight through the gap. I thought I could just pop you open with a bolt. That was lazy of me. Check the crevice. There you go. Slink your fingers through and grab what you need. Cheeky red team. I won't loot everything on the way through because, yeah, it is just like the final hurrah of the world. But I will take some food and snacks on the way through. That door can't be open either, I don't think. No. Nah. All right. Well, up the ladder we go. <laughs> I'm getting into it now. I'm getting into it now. My heart's starting to flutter a bit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That wasn't the plan. That wasn't the plan at all. But I do have a suppressed sniper rifle, which is working wonders, actually. Oh! What? Where the... Where the dicks did you... You clever little bastard. Yeah, finished gobbling hot dogs back in the sewer and decided to come out for a bit more of a play. Oh, itty bitty spider climbed up the ladder spout and clattered me. No good. No good. I have to reload all my guns now. First time we've gone up a ladder and we're already getting hackers. Oh, I've woken up a bunch. I'm gonna go with the spear because, oh, geez, they, they did it well. Uh oh, no, I didn't do that well. Those spears can penetrate. That is the best thing about them. Ow, damn it, damn it, damn it. 
They're coming from everywhere. I mean, I suppose it is a nursing home, so nurses are probably a plenty. This is why. This is why I need to bring lots of ammo. Look at this shit. Look at them all. Have you? I was gonna say, hopefully you've forgotten where I was. Skomo has it. Skomo, no. Skomo, no. Out, Skomo. Shit, fuck. Bad touch, Skomo. I tried to do it without waking up the Yeti, but you ha weren't having a bar of it. Right, good. Okay, we've already been here for four seconds. We're already having a real bad time. I can hear a lot more zombie noises, I think, outside. Oh, all right. They're beating on the front door trying to get... You go Oi! Oi, dickhead, you're going to have to come back later. It's freaking 8.30 in the morning. Visiting hours aren't for a, a lot longer yet. And now you're vomiting on my doorstep. All right, I'm going to send you the bill for a new doormat because now you're just being rude. I'm not super sure which way to go. There's a turned on light down there and a turned on light down there. Normally you do just kind of follow the lights, but uh, I guess I'll just choose away and see what happens. Oh, oh, I saw what happened. I saw what happened. I didn't like it. Wait over here. Are you guys going to like open? Oh, I was going to say you're going to open a window. You did, and he all charged immediately through it. Dodge that. I need to try and <laughs> need to try conserve ammo as best I can anyway. Don't want to get real frivolous with it and end up with nothing at the end. Bursting is always good. Do not go full auto unless you really have to. I do love those rad suit zombies though. When they're radiated like that and all the greens coming through the visor, it just looks really cool. All right. Are we Okay. Do we make it through? Reload everything again. Every room we go into is another big battle. It's like the corrections facility all over again. There's another couple on the other side of this wall that have just chosen not to go through the gaping door, but all right, whatever. Oh, that's a rabbit. Whatever floats a boat, I suppose. Sat you. Wait for your friend. It's only 1v1, mano a mano. Go with your spear. There you go. Oh, jeez. All right, then. I gave him my spear that he decided he wanted to cuddle. That has to happen later there, Chief, and at least only for five minutes. That little door there is locked. Let's see if I can just open you up with the crossbow. See if anyone's waiting for me inside. Oh! Because that door's locked, sir. Apparently, it's suppressing the rifle is doing wonders. That's why I like the sniper rifle so much. It feels like each bullet is worth so much. I mean, if you go with like the like the, the tacky boy or the M60, it still takes like Five or six rounds to kill anything, but with this, one shot, one kill. Just a much better use of ammo. Until there's a thousand zombies, then you're in a lot more trouble. Just quickly, up, oh, pop that water balloon. Nice, oh jeez. Nice and fragile as a balloon should be. Can you lot please just now? You've already broken down the wall quite a lot. You're gone. You're gone too. Just got to try and clear the nice pond out here for any of the nursing home citizens who want to come out here and enjoy some fluids. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go for it. I need you. Oh, I need you to go two headshots with a sniper drops a bear. I was just telling you how much I love the freaking sniper off and it's only growing more. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm bleeding. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Quickly slap on a bando and draw him out to here. There you go. Line up for me. Perfect. Love your work, everyone. You are so good at conga lines. You'd be the best patrons ever on a cruise ship. Nice. We good? I mean, we're not quite good. We got infected a little bit. And of all the things I brought, I didn't bring any... I didn't bring any anti-infection stuff. I was probably supposed to put you in immediately, and I didn't. All right. Well... Not your best. You copped a bit of a beating, but we'll carry on. They keep coming from behind me, the cheeky bastards. I think I have things covered. Then out of nowhere, suddenly, a thousand zombies. Oh, I've done it again. Oh, pigeon. Oh, drop down. Drop down and let him come to you all over again. Jeez, everywhere I go, damn it, there's eight million zombies all over the place. Almost as like this is like the worst people I could go to or something. Who would have thunk it? Just, ah, damn it. I was going to say, just go, oh, I've dropped off the side as well. Just go with the M60. I'm bleeding again. Oh, they're coming from everywhere. I'm having flashbacks to the bloody prison all over again. You need to die, please. Oh, there's a biker. Bikers are quicker. Bikers are scary. Put a couple of rounds down in Siguri. If I can hit any of the shots, that would be freaking fantastic, please. You're not dead yet. You are now. Stick with the rifle for the moment. Just line them up. Okay, we're all right. We're okay. Any honey in you? No, nothing at all. And every time I get cladded, my infection goes up a little bit more. No good. 
I have wisely invested some points into uh, parkour, so I can just get back up to where I need to be. Hold on. Continue my great idea of clearing out the area down below. If I didn't kill that bear and all the things were hanging out down here before, that would have been a much bigger problem than just falling off the side. Take you. Nance. I somehow missed that and Nance is gone. Did you just jump off the side? I mean, listen, that's a bit overdramatic and that's coming from me. Back up onto the roof to see if there's anyone else waiting for me up here. Someone's tried to call in for help. They're smart, they're not like Bender. They actually spelled the whole word help rather than writing a whole essay. Proud of you guys. That's the way back down. Oh, that is where I just came from. I haven't gone down any levels. I've just gone up some more crossbow bolts. Scrap the extras because I don't need more than two stacks of it. No, thank you. Anyone got any honey? Anyone got any honey? Call me Winnie the Pooh because I'm desperate for it. I woke up some more, but it should be... Oh, they're coming around the side. They're flanked me. Clever girl. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go back down to over here so they have to keep on following me on weird little tangents that I might get the drop on them for. Them. Back over to here. Tried and true. I'm going to go with the M60. M60 again. But not full auto, just a couple of single shots and burst fires, because here comes the dogs. There's so many. <laughs> How many zombies can you possibly... Oh, catch you later there, hot stuff. Can you possibly fit into a couple of air vents? You need to die. Yeah, I think I think I got you. I didn't get you. I took off your leg, but you're still trotting quickly. You're fine. You're fine. All right. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay as long as I have somewhere to fall back to. Surely that's all of them, right? Surely that's all she wrote for just the roof. Going to work from the top down like a delicious dinner of tacos. Another one in there. No, I think... No one in that one. I think we should hopefully be relatively okay at least for a moment now. Ooh. There's a sailing ship over there. Shit, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, how? How did you get up here? I'm sorry, what? I mean, you can't climb ladders. may have big paws ready to swap me nose off my face, but I don't think that works on a ladder for you, so... I killed the last one in two. I don't think that's going to be anywhere near as successful as that one was. Oh, the bear can't climb ladders, but you sure as shit can. Finish it off. Oh, don't ride the scummer, for goodness sake. That's the, no one's idea of a good time. You're gone. I just need to see him. Your head, please. Now, see your noggin. Ugh, I can't I can't do it when you're underneath the bloody rooftop. There you go. There's a couple of janitors just asleep on the job. Well, that's not how you earn any tips. Put you down and put you down. I'll try that again. I mean, look, you should be sleeping on the job. There's clearly a lot of maintenance work that needs to be done. And you guys are just slacking off. Oh, hip fire the crossbow. Always a good idea. Oops. <laughs> I really cut her off at the moment. Just kind of wigging it and see what happens. Not the best course of action. So that goes down even further. Take you back. I will take you back, please. Where am I now? Is this the skylight? I think it was actually the skylight that I saw that was on from before. I haven't been in this area before. Another couple. Oh, some more books. No more zombies. All right. Well... It's nice and peaceful over here and all locked up tight. I can just... <gasps> I was going to ask I can survive here forever. Oh, I don't think I can. Have I gone like... Have I gone the sneaky way? I feel like I've come around the outside like a trailer park girl and really stitched up some zombies. Not upset by that at all, though. Take my bolts back out of you. Just you, big chief. One. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Oh, my God. You take a pounding. Just going back through the area that I just cleared to make sure I didn't miss anything and check for any medicine cabinets or whatever that might give me some honey. No, nothing in you. Old trash. Not just some bones. It's a bit of a sneaky hiding spot up there. Someone's been having a lovely time in their nursing home. Anything in you? Nope, no medical supplies. There's got to be something. There's got to be something in here. Ooh, in here somewhere. Ooh, there's like a whole... I scurried across that pipe, actually, and I didn't go any further down. That might lead me somewhere better. That might take me somewhere where there's some bee goo. I'm getting desperate. I'm getting desperate. I've got to find out. Yeah, here we go. Down here. I'm going to take the ladder up to... Ooh, a cheeky purse. Oi, trick! Give me back my purse! 
Nope, nothing to do with it anyway. You can have it back. Don't need it. So this is actually... Oh, clever. This is what happens when you have zombies that are super geniuses with X-ray structural engineering sledgehammer hands. So they knew to get to me up the top... In fact, that's probably how some of them even got through because they could crawl through that. There's a ladder that takes them up to them. So they beat down these blocks from the outside. They can get into the elevator shafts. All right, fair enough then. Probably not fair enough then, but <laughs> noted. I'll take that. I don't think you heal infection. No, you don't. Just everything else. I've got to find something. More to get two and a half percent infected. This isn't the infection series. I've got a lot of red dots up on my radar up there. And I reckon they're all hanging out in the bathroom over there. Why there was 17 people crowded into one little bathroom? I don't know. I could hazard a guess, but I don't think I want the answer to it. Although I feel like that mind blowing thing might have been a pretty common occurrence in there. You're gone. ScoMo's always involved and... I mean, I suppose going for feet wouldn't be the, the uh, first time it's happened in that room. Pull one straight through you. Gonna pop him in that door for me, aren't you? No. I mean, it's ScoMo, so I'm, I'm surprised he's got no idea, but that's poor even for you. More feet. In fact... <laughs> All right, ScoMo, that's a, that's a way to do it then. Fair play to you. Missed it. Damn it. There's... I was gonna say, there's a couple more in there. Use the spear to penetrate and... All right, get the hands done. Nice. We're good. We're sorted. Take my bolts back again. There you go. Stealth is so good still. I mean, still, it had a bit of a lapse now for 20, I feel like, but it's back to being kick freaking ass. And I'm... What? I am rather enjoying it. Oh, I'm not enjoying that. Not enjoying that. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cowardice is the best move when you're pox in this game like I am. Where'd that spider go? Where'd that spider go? I hate it when they don't act the way I'm expecting them to. It makes me nervous. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? They're so smart. They can tunnel through walls and elevator shafts. But you give them a gaping door. They're like, ah, nah, I'm good. Another zombie just cruising around. Do the smart thing and drop you nice and early. I mean, I've got the sniper rifle. May as well take advantage of that, doggo. Drop you as well. Plus, it's suppressed. So I can do all this without too much concern. And he's always in the cupboard. Ooh, no, but a cheeky booze supply. Oh, wait. What? I've been in here before. There was a search bookshelf. It got very dark very quick all of a sudden. Have I really? No. How? How did I come in here then? Oh, I've got all turned around. I've got all turned around. This is where I ended up before. So there's multi- Here we go. Multiple avenues that lead to the same place. So I guess- I guess downstairs is the way to go. The stairs break apart at the next level. So that's good. Thank God for the NVGs. And also thank God for the NVG mod that Kane made. That means I'm not staring through a bloody green sphere the entire time I'm trying to use them. I hated that. Uh, how the normal NVGs are. Oh no, we're down on ground level. Uh, oh, extra oh no. Ah, uh, that's, that's a bit of a puddle. Oh my God, there's so many of them. That's a genuine puddle of zombies. Can I get rid of you guys real quick so I have some room to maneuver? Because if shit kicks off, I've got to go back upstairs very quickly. Nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. Oh, that's not nice and quiet. Hang on, hang on. Um, Right, give me a gap. Give me a gap to shoot through. That's too much of a gap to shoot through. Shit, balls. I didn't go up the stairs like I was planning to, but managed to make it through. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's way more. That's way more than the sniper rifle can handle. There's only 18 rounds in the magazine and about 47 zombies. Holy shit. Holy shit. Right. I'm starting to chew through ammo pretty bloody quickly. Things are definitely ramping up and in no good Tony Hawk way. I tell you what, I love these new blocks though. These like new decorative blocks they've put in. In fact, can I make my own piano? No. In fact, I do need to get myself... I think GNS made one. There's a couple of mods out there, but uh, I need to get myself one of the aesthetic block mods that makes all the cool-looking new blocks they've added actually craftable so you can put it into your own base. Just ridiculous. That's the worst thing. Imagine putting in cool things like this and be like, nah, ah, 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 giving everyone the biggest, fattest, throbbinest of middle fingers and be like, not going to happen. You can't have these cool blocks in your base. That's just heckin' bloody rude. Speaking of heck and bloody rude, where's all the medical supplies? I need some honey. Awesome proper antibiotics. I don't mind which one, but I need something 
No, that's not medicine. That's medicine for a car. God damn it. There you go. Finally, a couple of pills to put into me. What have you got? Just some aloe. Not really much at all. No wonder everyone at this bloody facility died. Look at the bloody infirmary care you got to offer. Elevator. Our elevator's working. <laughs> ah! You got me. You got me. You sold me like a sausage in the Bunnings car park. Absolutely sailed me down a creek. Hang on a second. Could I just go like that? And like that so I can... Huh? Oh, not quite like that. Parkour apparently isn't always a benefit. There you go. And up you go. I was going to say, this feels an awful lot like... Do you remember the Jurassic Park game on the SNES way back when? And you had to go in those facilities with the raptors and went first person, which was... Utterly terrifying for a little Josh, but this reminds me of that. I need some elevator music. I'm just like Just chilling out just waiting for the doors to open to get eaten by a raptor Because that was always the way it worked for me in that game. I was awful at it There's a bunch more nurses in here, but given you're not gonna get oh actually given you're not gonna give me any medical care I did bring some AP ammo because there is definitely two in a row just there right about Oh Yep, right about there was right, but I did wake everybody up. Let's quickly go back to the regular rounds. Any gaps? Any gaps to shoot through? That'll do. Can't even see where I'm shooting because the powder... Oh, God. The powder burn is way too bright. Oh, the door cut! Why is it locked open? How do you lock a door open like that? What the fuck is it snipped into? Heckin' rude. Sit. Sit. Is there any more? No, no one coming from that way. Oh, God. Okay. We're all right. We're okay. Oh, looks like me after a big Wednesday night with my wrist all flopping and worn out. Anyone in here? Any medical supplies? Any anythings? Nah, nothing. Oh, well. Reload to get ready for the next one. There's another chance for a penetrating kill, and I can't turn down an opportunity to penetrate anything if my life depended on it, because, I mean, it kind of does. If I did it stealthily, there'd be no risk, but... That's too boring. That's too boring. Always got to go the penetration. Can I open you? No one there. You're just a regular mop. No penetrating there. So put you down. Anyone else? Oh my God. Look at the compass. Oh my God. Look at the compass. Thank God I slapped a suppressor on the rifle. Because I could take cool shots like that and not pay the ultimate price. If I'm going to go back to... No, I'm going to keep AP ammo on for the moment. Actually, are any of you zombies? I don't think so. I think you're all just burning logs. You're fine. By yourself. Another one there. Quickly reload. Oh, I'm turning my back on so many more zombies. I'm trying to do it stealthily, but... We all know stealth isn't... <laughs> Look at you. Look at you. I've turned your noggin into a salsa bowl. Someone get your chips out and dip away. Oh, no. Oh, get out of the room. Get out of the room before they all make it. Oh, my God. Before they all make it to you. Uh, yep. That'll hold them. Just a couple of matchsticks holding it all together. Where am I going to go? How do I get out of here again? That's the way out. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. Then if you could all just like, ooh, just wait there. That works for me. I somehow separated a lot of them. Go with the spear if you can. I've got AP rounds on. Can I shoot through the blinds? Yes, I can. Didn't quite get you. Shoot you in the knees so you don't do anything silly. There goes your other knee as well. Your days of the revenge were well and truly over. You need to go away. This guy just will not, will not take the hit. There we go. Finally. So AP ammo occasionally will go through blocks, but not always, I don't think. That one did. That one did. I still need to go and figure out exactly how the AP ammo works sometimes because it's not always as clear cut, but... That worked out okay. Um, hang on. Screamer? That's just rude. I'm clearly busy. Now is not the time for you. Are you out here? I can't open the door. Hold on a second there, love. I'll come for you in a moment. <laughs> We're not doing phrasing anymore. I reckon you're on the side of this. Can I? You are on the other side of this. There, love. Missed it. Shit. Don't squeal. Damn it. Damn it. There we go. There we go. Just have a bit of a lie down, a bit of a load off on the park bench, like in the old bear and back to the future. Yeah, nah. You're fine. You're fine. Although, 
You are shitting me. You are shitting me. We're not fine. We're not fine at all. How? How did you manage to squeal without me heal, uh, hearing you? Or is that just like a wandering horde or something? Either way, <laughs> no thank you. You can't come in. I was curious how much work the um the, the NVGs were doing. They're doing quite a lot. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to fight all these hordes in here with this kind of mood lighting? You wouldn't see a bleeding sausage out of that. Anything in you. Just some wood. I really, really, really need some honey if you wouldn't at all mind. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Make some duct tape. Why, why not? Got some sticky stuff and some fabric. We're all good. I'm now 5.8% infected. It's only getting worse. It's only getting worse. There's going to be something in here somewhere. Ooh, surely? Well, that's a door. Oh, it's the bait. It's down where the weapons bag was again at the bottom of the pipe. Uh, whatever you want to call it. The, I don't know, crevice? <laughs> Someone think of a better word. Pretend I said that for me. Medical supplies. Please, 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 please. Not quite. I'll eat some more vitamins though. Why not? Medical journal is finished. I'll just read you. Take the extra first aid. I mean, that means I can probably just make myself some antibiotics if I had any wherewithal to do it. I had most of this stuff. It's a shame my house exploded weirdly. Who would, who knows why, who knows how, but it's definitely not here anymore. Oh, mate, it's gone. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. I, I tell you, it'd be really awful for me because I'm terrified of scary things, but imagine if these things could have zombies inside them and the bag like sat up and then the zombie like came out of it. That would be absolutely bloody sick. Yeah, no, I want that. I want that influence in it because that would be that'd be way too cool to a little pansy like me be too scared of it to not happen. Oh! Oh, what? You are shitting me. You are shitting me. There's like... What the hell was that? Ah! You bloody bastards. You can't put shit like that in... I'd cleared this whole joint. You can't then come back and, God damn it, make an explosion happen when I open a dorm. That's really freaking cool. But also, I'm calling shenanigans on that. I cleared the whole bloody building. Oh, cheeky bloody bastards. Spawning in zombies in cleared areas because I opened a dorm. What is this? Freaking Doom? Or Doom 2? Or any other Dooms as well? Bloody zombie closets, man. Making things real difficult. Oh. No, nah, okay. There's a whole other wing. <laughs> There's a whole other wing. I've just gone through that way and done one big doughy. And we're back at the front. We're back at the bloody front again. All right. Fair play. I'm going to quickly just going to check this shuttle bus and see what's what. Maybe chuck a couple of things into my... I was going to say my motorcycle. What's the point? I need the ammo. No point putting that shit away. You can go like that. I'll actually grab some... No, I won't. Go make some bandages first. But first aid is always important. I ran out of it last time. It's not happening again. Some soldiers asleep under the table over there. Uh, oh, and one there too. That was the easiest shot by a margin. That one too. And please don't clip a chair. Aim a bit higher if you need to. All right. Well, you can't win them all, I suppose. That's a nice little gap for me though. Just gonna get the chairs out of the way. Gotta be a gentleman and pull the chairs out before you can get the job done. Anyone else in here? Not just the three soldier boys. Nice. Thank you. Th oh my God. You know what? There's a lot more in here. Look at the compass up there. Look how many are waiting for me. This is an exit out there. It's a rad copper. And a Nance. That's your noggin. Oh, oh God. I was going to say, what? oh, he's not. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's, he's about to have a heart attack in there. Run away. Run away like the brave boy that you wish you were. That was a great shot on that wide biker, actually. Oh, time to run. Time to run. Use your spaghetti legs for good for a change. Get it out. Get it out. Don't hold on to ammo. If you die with ammo in your pocket, I'll be very upset with myself. Oh, mate's running. I think she caught... Ah, damn it. I think she caught a bit of a beating from the exploding copper. Ah, my God. You're still up. How many bullets? How many bullets can you take? I know you're painted green like Jim Carrey, but you're not supposed to take it through the bar like that. All right, Dorigan, fucking hell. Found myself a T6 steel spear hanging out in the purple pickup truck. Thank you. I'd have called it the Ute and definitely not even close to being purple. That's like, it's not even, that's like maroon. 
It's like a dark red. All right, whatever. <laughs> we uh, shouldn't be surprised that this game has no grasp of what purple actually is. We've been through that before. You are... You are better. You are better than my current t uh, tier sixer. All right, hang on a second. I'm going to find the bike, change over some mods. Put down you. Boop. And boop. Missed it. There we go. There we go. When you get the chance, make sure the world is nice and clear. Oh, well, good. This this could only go well. The only way down to the next area is through the dumb waiter, or the smart waiter, or whatever IQ waiter it wants to be. Oh. We okay? Nice and stealthy. Oh, can I can I actually can I actually get through here, please? My parkour is making things more difficult. Oh, I don't like this. I have no retreat. If shit kicks off now, I'm. Ugh. <laughs> what kind of nursing home is this? Not a very good one, but looks of things. Um. Yeah, if shit kicks off now, I am shit out of luck. May as well just bundle me up and chuck me in the crematorium immediately. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Well, that's ominous as fuck. Loot means zombies. No retreat and a key painted red. That's absolutely going to spawn all of the nightmares in the world as soon as I tickle it. All the doors are locked. There's going to be so many zombies in here. There's going to be so many freaking zombies in here. All right, where does the red valve go? Sorry there, champion. Can I just, like, push you a little bit further in so that you, <laughs> you can finally have some peace? Be brave, Josh. Be brave. But before I do, let's go coffee in. Try to get some extra stamina region just in case. Also some food, because why not? All right. Ready or not, here we go. I was gonna say that it was quite. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Holy motherfucking Christ. What the fuck is this nonsense? Ah, uh, that's a dead end. That's a dead end. I'm radiated. I'm radiated. Let's keep on moving. Up, up, over, over. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just gotta keep moving. Oh, no, not like that. Not like that. Not like that. You put the in. Please, 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 please. Oh, I've gone dead end again. Go, 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 dead end again. Wrong gun. Wrong gun. Oh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped in a corner. Oh, I'm trapped in a corner with an M60. Oh shit! Tough another abrasion. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. I'm very hurt all over the bloody place. I've got to reload faster. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh balls. Come on, stay with it. Stay with it. Reload fast, please. My arms and ears and legs and everything are broken. Uh, you. Immediately that one. Immediately that one. Get some extra health. And then you. Who's left? Who's left? I don't know. We're not bleeding out anymore. You. And then who else? Oh my god, that's it. That's all of them. That's all of them. I got the ending quest noise. I knew it. So as soon as I saw it was a dead end with a toggle switch, given what happened upstairs with the explosion, I knew I was all sorts of fuck eyed. Put you on. I do have a broken something. I've deep lacerations. I've got a sprain. And I've got a broken leg. Well, what do you need? What do you need then to make yourself a splint? Because I do have a physician that should fix up one of you immediately. Splint needs. Wood and cloth fragments. All right, hold on. Hold on. I can find these things. I can find these things. Meanwhile, scream a bitty out there. Moaning Myrtles having a wine. She'll be here in no time. Got my splint going. Thank you. Whack you on. That's going to hopefully heal you immediately. Oh, it healed both. Oh, no. It didn't heal. I healed my sprain immediately. But my uh, splinted leg is still a little bit worse for wear. All right. Well, uh, I might quickly go and take care of some business upstairs. Fix up Moaning Myrtle and then put some stuff back into my bike so I can come and get the loot. You shouldn't spawn anymore, right? Let's get... Make sure all of my guns are loaded just in case. I do not trust this game as far as I can throw it and I have no upper body strength, so it's not far at all. Burp you. I'd open that door, but not the rest of them. There's still lots more places to loot in this joint, but... Okay. Okay. Finally got the shot. I don't think you squealed. Are we all right? I think we're bloody all right. <gasps> oh, no, we're not all right. We're not all right. I thought we were. We're definitely not. Bloody screamers, dude. They don't have to bloody squeal anymore. They've got suppressors on their throats. You. Almost. That was a juicy headshot, that last one. I hear some footsteps behind me, but I was going to say I had to make sure you were definitely gone before I span back around. 
Okay. Okay. Let's chuck some shit away and go see what loot's down there. Man, it never stops. I heard. I was going to say, no. That was so clean. There's no way you gurgled out of that. I was going to say, I heard another scream. So two screamers showed up from that final battle. Apparently two full magazines at M60 causing all sorts of nonsense. So she actually did squeal, but didn't call anything in. The other one was silent and just secretly sent out the SOS, the silent alarm, I suppose. Here, just take all of this, all of that off me. In fact, I'm going to keep most of the ammo with me because let's be honest, I'm probably going to need it before too long. There we go. I'm infected. I'm hobbled. I'm all sorts of beaten and bruised, but... You know what? I'm alive. I'm alive. Somehow, some way. Oh, that was intense. I'm going to use my chlamydia shovel to try and see what's in front of me. God, I don't like... I've had so much red glare from the NVGs this whole time. I kind of want to have a bit of peace and warmth in my eye sockets instead. Still no sign of any honey, though. Random little bits and pieces all over the shop. Ooh, you, please. Still got chlamydia on my axe. Nice. One shot into you. Still none. Still no honey. Why is it so bleeding rare? Nothing around. Ah, sorry. I can't sprint anymore. I forgot. Give me some roids. Give me some honey and some roids. I feel like I've definitely earned it. Oh, this is the bottom of the stairwell too. So if you took the shortcut jumping off the stairs there, you land in a world of pain. This is where all of the zombies are down here. Have I been through... Have I been through this side? Yeah, I have. That's the elevator shaft. And that way... Goes back out to the sewer. All right. Interesting. Interesting. That door is still locked, though. All right. That's fine. That's that door. Right. Gotcha. I love the way... I love the POI design of Alpha 21. In fact, most of the POIs are kind of like it, where it feels like the building was built before it became a dungeon and then retrofitted to be a zombie palace, because... I don't know. Everything kind of matches up at the end of it. There's no rooms just for the sake of rooms. I really like that about it. Well, all that's left then is just for the hardened chest to let me inside it, please. There we go. Okay, do that and then get all of the loot that I came here for. Right, is there nothing? No, no, no secrets or anything in here? Mm, double check you. You never know. No, nothing on that side. Sorry, legs. I'm going to have to cook you a little bit more. A little bit of something, something in there. Any honey? No, nothing again. All right, well, what do you get for a T6 infestation? Oh my god! That's probably replenished a lot of the ammo. Actually, no, it's not even close. It's not even close. I've heard so much ammo. I have to go and double check how much it actually was. I don't know. It's not even coming close with those. We've got dart trap, dart trap. Armored up. Brown eyes, blue red. A T6 chainsaw. T6 steel knuckles. Fuck you too. That's some. That's some pretty bloody good gubbins. Oh, there's lots of gubbins. I'm gonna have to make a run back outside and drop some more shit off, because hooey! That's sick! I didn't think I was gonna need all that storage, so I just brought my bike all the way down with me so I can chuck shit into you just from there. Like you, just take Take that and that and that can just get scrapped actually. No, I can't with a mod in it, but just gonna free up some space wherever I can through there. That can go, that can get scrapped, you can get scrapped, you can get scrapped, and you can get scrapped. Lots of brass from spare ammo. I want to see if I go you again. Another couple of books. Some more dart traps. Some more triggers. Oh, that's some. Um, that's pretty bloody bonza, actually. I really like all the stuff you get out of that. You can go in. You can go in. You can go in. Whatever else can fit. That'll all be fine. All right. Well, what else we got then? That was just. That was just the infestation loot. What else is about? Oh, oh my goodness, a T6 auto- That was a weird noise. T6 auto shoddy, making me feel all sorts of things. What about you? A T6 auger. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the loot in here is bonkers. It's utterly bonkers. Nothing really in you. St still no, um, still no antibiotics, which is a bit of a stitch off. we're being honest here, but all right then. Uh, sledgehammer crafting, some repair kits. When you guys, in fact, you want know, to go like this, go like that, repair you and repair you, then scrap you guys again. Oh, I've got to do it all order. I wish you could rearrange your um, your crafting orders to make things a bit easier then. And you, scrap and scrap. Right. I haven't, I haven't got to the main loot yet and already mind-bogglingly good loot. Mm, thank you for that one. Weapons bag, what's in you? Not really much. Right, that's fine. Oh, come on, surely, surely, surely... 
You suck a shit. Well, the only thing left is the hardened chest. Let's see what you got for me. Needle and purple good. Red, it's one vehicle book, tools digest, a double storage pocket mod, and another dart trap bundle. So that's actually probably, that's pretty disappointing. There was better stuff in all the rest of the garbage around here without you giving me basically nada. I mean, I suppose it's not bad, but I'll tell you what, if I went through all of that and that was the loot I got, not all the extra stuff out of the uh, infestation loot, but like, uh, nor the uh, auto shotting out of the ammo pile, but if that was like the big bold loot, that was the draw card and the T6 Augur actually. I'm basically saying if I didn't get all the good loot, I'd be disappointed with the loot. I realize that now, but even so, you'd think the hardened chest would have all the really good stuff. That'll just about do us, I think. Gonna jump back on the bike and see if I can uh, weasel my way out of here. My bike is very messed up from my terrible driving ability. Need to put my uh, driver's license back in the cereal box I got it from. But there you go. There you bloody go. Job done. Nursing home has been cleared. That was intense. That was crazy. That was so much worse than I thought it was going to be. And I just died in the corrections place of the day, which apparently was another uh, potential tier six infestation. So they're all, they're all pretty serious out there. I'd love to go through and maybe have a look at the other tier six infestations, see what else is out there. Cause that was wild. Even with all the ammo, that was absolutely bloody wild. But I'll have to come back and maybe do some more tier six infestations or maybe to start the next series. I'm not sure what, but we'll be back in seven days to die again very soon. In fact, look at that. The last sunset nursing home right there. But yeah, I'll come back and be <laughs> more va vulnerable in seven days again in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you have liked, make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you with the next episode. Have a good one.